What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about some of the different options you have for flashlights for your firearms. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about some of the different options that you have for flashlights for your firearms, whether it be a handgun or a rifle. Uh, I've got uh, two stream lights out here and a shore fire. There are many other options out there. You got O-Light. Um, Lord, I just drew a blank. Who else do you have with O-Light? You got Enforce. I mean, there's tons and tons of options out there for flashlights. These are just some of the ones uh, that I picked that I like. Uh, I think Streamlight and Surefire are probably some of the best options out there. Now, I'm sure some of y'all are probably going to get butt hurt and start commenting and talking shit, and I really don't care. Um, if you don't like it, go do a video and give your opinion on why you have what you have is the best. Um, and it's personal preference for me. The, these I like. I like Streamlight. I like Surefire. Uh, very bright, very reliable, very easy to use. So it's not anything overly complicated. I'm not saying the others are overly complicated either. But this is just what I've chosen and what I use. Uh, so for my rifle, I have the Streamlight TLR RM2. Um, you can even use this for a handgun if you'd like. Uh, I chose it to use on my rifle. So as you can see here, I've got it right here on the front. All right, it's on the top. The reason I have it on the top is that way if I need to use it um, being on one side, left or right, uh, that can cast a shadow and limit my visibility. So I like to have it on the top or the bottom. Uh, now, a big reason I don't have it on the bottom is that's where my angled foregrip is and I'm limited with my real estate on this particular handrail. Um, other options are out there. Uh, honestly, I could take the Surefire and put it on my rifle if I wanted to. Uh, truthfully, I could probably take this Streamlight TLR 7A and put it on my rifle if I wanted to. Now, I've only got 500 lumens where I've got a thousand lumens with this. Plus, what comes with this is you do get, I don't know, uh, you can't see it in the packet, um, up there at the top, you do get a pad if you wanted to do the pad. Now, the only reason I don't have the pressure pad on here, pressure switch, whatever you want to call it, I'm limited on my real estate. Plus, the way I grip this gun, I can get right up here to the back part of it. So, this is where you engage it right here at the back. So I can still turn the light on and off, whatever I need to do, without having that pressure pad. But if you wanted to add the pressure pad, it does come with a pressure pad. I just don't have the real estate for it. I could probably add a rail here on the side or add a, an additional rail to this and put the pressure pad on there, but I'm fine with the way that it's set up. I can get to it if I need to get to it without any kind of crazy stretch or manipulating the gun or anything like that. The way I hold it, I can get right there to it if I need to. So again, I have this on my rifle. You can put these on handguns. I have seen some of people put them on handguns. I just chose it for my rifle. Now on the Smith & Wesson here. So the Smith & Wesson M&P that I have here, I have a Streamlight, I've got the TLR 7A. That's just what I chose for this particular gun. Um, you're getting 500 lumens with this. So not that bright, but bright enough for something close quarters. And we'll kind of talk about some of the candela between the different ones here in a sec, what the difference is. But for my m and I've got the Streamlight TLR 7A. Uh, the difference between the 7 and the 7A are where your controls are. I believe the 7, the controls are on the side. The 7A here, your controls are on the back. Um, and it does come with alternate, or I shouldn't say alternate, other 
uh, switches. So these are what they call the high switch and they have a low switch. If you'd rather have that, you can swap that out very easily. Uh, you can strobe this as well too. I don't have that turned on. Uh, just not something I've turned on yet, but your controls are right there. Press it once to turn it on, press it again to turn it off or press and hold and that way it's only on when you need it to be on. So press and hold, see right there, and then press once, turn on, press again, turn off. So that's how that one is gonna work. As you can see, it doesn't stick out as much. So this 7A would also be good if you have a subcompact or your micro compact if you're looking to add a flashlight to that. So this would be a very, very good option. Very small, very compact. Um, yes, I put it on a full-size MP 2.0. It's just what I put on this gun. It was what I had and it's what I put on it just in case I need a flashlight on this particular platform. And then on my Glock 19 here, I've got the old Surefire X300U. Okay, I like this a little bit better for to have on my fighting gun. Uh, lot brighter, it's styles and lumens, so it's a lot brighter. If I need to engage, I just push forward on the switch. Even there's, and same thing with the 7A, there's switches on both uh, right side and left side. Uh, so I can just push forward on it and it'll turn it on and then just let off. Or I can push that down, see it's on, and then turn it off, vice versa, up or down, doesn't matter. We'll get it to turn on and stay on. If you just push it in and hold it, it's just on for while you're pushing it in. So a little bit bigger. So this would be good for a compact or even a full-size gun. And like I said, you could even take this off and put it onto a rifle if you wanted to. I know some people that run this on a rifle. Uh, it does not come with a pressure plate. So that's the only thing with this one, it doesn't come with a pressure plate. Now, the good thing about the 300U, it's very easy to take on and off. I'm not having to screw anything on and off. It's got the little push button. You can swap that out depending on what your rail is. And you'll see it just slides right on, clicks in. It's there, it's not going anywhere. So again, you can use both rifle and pistol. I've got it on my pistol. The other thing is, is yes, when you put these things on your handguns, uh, you are going to need to get a different holster where you can put the gun and the flashlight in there together. Um, there's no, well, I mean, you have some of your cheapo universal holsters, but I would not recommend that. Get yourself a good holster. So those are the options that I have. Now with your TLR RM2, now with this particular one, all right, weight wise, you're looking at uh, a little over four and a half, like four point, what does it say? 4.55 ounces. So something to think about when you start putting this stuff on your rifle, because ounces will turn into pounds. Now this is a thousand lumens and it's 10,000 candela. So probably lumen, what do you mean? Lumen and candela. So if nobody's ever explained that to you, your lumens is pretty much how bright it's gonna be up close. Your candela is how deep the beam will penetrate, say down a hallway or into the woods or something like that. So when you're looking at this stuff, for what I've got here, okay, most of this stuff is close quarters. So fighting gun, fighting rifle, thousand lumens. Now with the Surefire here, you have 11,300 candela. So just a little bit more candela. What we're talking about here is this, you have about, I think 200 meters. So what I mean is the beam will penetrate and give you a good view up to 200 meters. Where with this one, you're looking at about 215 meters. So you're getting 15 more meters out of this one because again, 11,300 candela, 10,000 candela. So lumens is bright up close, candela is how deep it's going to penetrate. Now for the 7A here, you've only got 5,000 candela, so I wanna say that's like 140, 150 meters, and only 500 lumens. So, but trust me, 500 lumen is bright. When you're talking about a dark room, 500 lumen is very bright. 
Oh, excuse me, I don't mean to yawn on you guys. It's been a long day. But again, these are the options that I've chose. You pick what you like. The biggest thing is don't start overloading these things. Find a flashlight that works for you for what you're gonna be using it for. My fighting rifle could be used up close or I might have to go into the woods. So I've got a thousand lumens, 10,000 candela. So I've got some distance. 213 meters is a long way. So I've got some distance that this can penetrate deep into the woods or down a hallway, corridor, alleyway, whatever it might be. Same thing with my fighting pistol. I've got something that's gonna be bright up close. That way if somebody pops out on me, I can blind them and be able to put that threat down if I need to. All right, and then I can also see deep down in a corridor, alleyway, hallway, woods, whatever it might be. So again, you've got Lumen, you've got Candela. If you want something to penetrate deep, you need something with a high Candela, and more than likely it's gonna have a high Lumen as well too. I've yet to find a flashlight that's got a low Lumen with a high Candela. I'm not saying they're not out there, I just haven't found them when I've done my research. Now, if you don't want something on the gun, there are flashlights, little handheld flashlights that you can carry around. For my everyday carry, I don't have a flashlight on my everyday carry gun. Um, I've got a small flashlight that I put in my pocket that I can carry around. Um, now, does that mean I'm later on I might not put I might put one on there? I might put one on there. I don't know. Right now, I just don't want want one on there. I've got a, again a flashlight that I carry. But really, really great options here. I've all, I'm not gonna say there aren't complaints about these flashlights, but I don't have any complaints about them. Uh, the controls are very easy to use. Uh, setting them up as far as like doing the strobe and everything is very easy to do. Uh, I just haven't gone through it because I don't want the strobe option on there. Now, the other thing is all of these are waterproof. I, matter of fact, I think the Surefire is up to one meter for 30 minutes. All right. Then your runtime on this, consistent runtime, hour and 25 minutes. Uh, consistent runtime on this is an hour and a half. And then your consistent runtime on this one is probably about the same hour and a half. So got some really good runtime on it it's not something that you should need to keep on consistently um, I've just used them here or there in certain classes and even in um, like when power's going out I've used them as well too uh, they've I haven't changed the batteries in them since I've had them I've had these for a really really long time so but again that Again, hour and a half, hour and a half, hour and tw hour point two five. That is it consistently being on running nonstop. The other good thing about the stream lights is you can adjust to make sure they're not coming on while they're being while they're, you're traveling. So if they're packed up in a case, bag, whatever it might be, you can turn and get this to where it will disengage so it doesn't get bumped on and stay on while it's inside your bag or case or whatever. So I do like that about the Streamlight. Uh, the Surefire, the way the controls are set up, it would be pretty hard to bump that on in a case. I'm not gonna sit here and say uh, that it doesn't happen, but I don't believe and I haven't found a way I could be uh, wrong about that to disengage these controls but again I don't foresee these the streamlights I can see these controls a little easier to get bumped on weight on this one is 2.4 ounces weight on this one is that's a great question I don't think I really looked into it I figured it would be on the box here and I don't see it so I'll put the weight down in the uh, description once I find that for you. Uh, the other thing is these are taking the CR123A batteries. So your stream lights are the CR123A batteries. Uh, this one I believe is taking 
the uh, which battery is it? I think it takes two of them. Also, the one two three A it takes two. Um, these here, let's see, two one two three A batteries, and the seven A just uses one. So really good options all the way around. Again, the Surefire and the TLR RM2 can be used either handgun or rifle. Uh, honestly, you could probably put the 7A on a rifle if you wanted to. Uh, me personally, I would rather have at least a thousand lumens or higher on my rifle, uh, but options are out there, whether it be rifles or handguns or even shotguns. There are a plethora of options out here. These are the ones that I've chosen because these are the ones that I've liked doing my research. Um, I'm not saying any, that the others aren't any better or any worse. Like I said, I'm sure somebody out there is gonna come in and comment and talk trash about all three of these. So that's your opinion, that's fine. I really don't care. I like these, they've always been great for me. And I mean, these things have taken some abuse as well too, because I've, you know, <laughs> running some drills I've been known to throw a handgun or two here or there. Uh, the gun is empty. I'm running drills. It's just me playing around. I'm not throwing loaded weapons before anybody tries to start any shit. Uh, the rifles taking some bumps in and out of cases, um, certain ways maneuvering, uh, doing some room clearing and stuff, even banging off the barrels and walls that I have out there in class. So these things have taken some abuse and they're still working. So really, really good options. Now, any one of these lights here, you can find at NoOtherChoice.com, which I'm affiliate of. So use code SCGS5, and you will dig a discount on any one of these flashlights. Now, if you're not wanting one of these flashlights, and there's a particular flashlight that you're looking for that you don't see on his website, reach out to him. I'm sure he can get his hands on it. But you can find all of these at NoOtherChoice.com code SCGS5 and get yourself a discount. Not only flashlights, I mean, he's got magazines, he's got uh, swag. So if you want a t-shirt, go on there, get yourself a nice t-shirt, use code SCGS5 and you'll get yourself a discount. While you're there, go check out Amy for the Truth and his Greenwood project and throw some support his way. So I appreciate everybody watching the video. I appreciate all the support. Please continue to subscribe, like, comment, share, follow. Uh, all the support you can give is greatly, greatly appreciated. We're going to have some more great videos coming out, so please continue to watch. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.